So today we're going to show you some of the best ways to use Perplexity AI to rank number one. And we'll be coming on to some Claude workflows as well. I'm going to break everything down into a nice neat SAP and you'll get access to every single prompt that I mentioned today. So let's get straight into it. So one of the first ways that you can actually use Perplexity AI is if you go to focus over here, and by the way, if you've never used Perplexity, you can actually get free access. So I'm using the free version right now. You can see it's asking me to upgrade in the bottom left. This is a free version of Perplexity. And if you click on YouTube here, right, so you go to Focus and YouTube, what you can actually do, and this is very interesting, I've never heard anyone else talk about this, is you can ask YouTube for some relevant style ideas for content related to a certain person that you want to emulate, right? So for example, on Perplexity, I can say, give me some Julian Goldie SEO style clickbait SEO video ideas. And what it's going to do is actually search YouTube for relevant ideas by me. And then give me a bunch of ideas for content based on that. Now, the other thing as well, you can automate video research for your blogs. So for example, I like to use videos inside my content to make my content more unique and relevant, right? So for example, if you look at this particular blog that's ranking and getting a bunch of traffic, as you can see, I actually embed a lot of YouTube videos on the page. And the reason I do that for SEO is because it makes the content more contextually relevant plus I don't have to mess around creating images for my content. So what you can do inside Perplexity is you can say, give me the links, nothing else, to five relevant videos about SEO. And this is going to research all the relevant videos. Now, if we refine that more and we'll say no other text, just the videos, then we've actually got a list of videos that we can just copy and paste straight into our WordPress blog so that it's quicker and easier to edit. That makes everything faster when it comes to publishing the content because now we've automated the video research and we can split up the walls of text that AI typically provides makes everything easier. And if you've got a team and they're like, oh, I don't know what images to include, or you're worried about them, including copyright images. Well, with a workflow like this, they can just paste that link straight into WordPress. They can use this prompt. It's a free tool and you can easily automate the research of videos for your content. Now, another question I get asked frequently is how do I automate the external links of my content for AI? So what you can do is if you go to new over here and then go focus and then go over to academic, you can say, give me some relevant external links for my article about can cats eat bananas and you replace this with whatever keyword you want to replace it with here, enter like so. And what you can see is it's given us relevant external links that we could link out to from our content. And these are all from authoritative sources. So for example, PetMD, AKC.org, etc the spruce pets, these are relevant, but authoritative external sources that you know would be relevant to link out from. And they're all relevant to the content, right? So the content is about this topic and you can see every single page that we've got right here is relevant to the topic we're trying to automate external links for. Now, the reason that I don't use ChatGPT for this is that ChatGPT typically hallucinates the results or it takes a lot longer because it has to browse the web. Or additionally, if you use ChatGPT 3.5, the free alternative to perplexity, then it's not going to be trained on the most current data, whereas perplexity seems to have a much better data set. Now, what we can also do is if you want to automate external links is you can say, give me 10 external links for this page. And then we can take the URL that we had previously, we'll keep it on academic so it finds more authoritative sources. And now it's given us relevant external links automated in literally two seconds. For example, we could link out to Search Engine Journal, Ahrefs, SEMrush, Backlinko. These are all respected names within the SEO industry that we could link out to. And again, we've just automated the external links for our website. Now, another cool little thing you can do with Flexity is that you can actually fact check content, right? So if we switch to writing over here, and then we're going to paste in our content from our web page, which we've actually taken right here. You can quickly fact check our content and see whether Julian Goldie is talking BS on his own website. So if we take this content, we paste it in right here, and then we're going to say fact check this. And what it will actually do, as you can see right here, is it's given us an answer where it's tested our statements. So for example, this statement that I made, it's actually fact checked and said is correct. Now I actually fact checks that content and then it's got the source, etc. And this way you can easily fact check any content from ChatGPT using a source based platform. Because for example, if you ask for any statistics on Complexity, for example, like statistics on SEO, it's not going to make stuff up because what it actually does is give a source at the end of each statistic that you get. So if you're writing content on complexity, then you actually get the source for each fact. 
But if you've already got content that you need to fact check, then you can just plug it into Perplexity and quickly fact check it that way and then get the sources for your statistics and see if there's any chat GBT hallucinations in there. Now, one of my other favorite AI tools right now is Claude AI. And so if we go to Claude, it's a free tool, so you can get free access to it. It's owned by Anthropic. And what you can do from here is actually humanize your content, right? So I've got this long prompt and I'll give it away at the end of this video. But basically you can be very detailed in the way that you want AI to respond, which means that you're gonna get better responses because prompt is better it's more designed for human written content. Because the thing is, when you're using ChatGPT and these other platforms, they're not actually thinking about, oh, how can I write humanized content for Julian Goldie? Instead, they're just trying to respond in the best way and they know how, right? So if you take a prompt like this, you can actually really humanize your content. And I'll show you an example. So if we paste it in below, and then we'll put keyword equals can cats eat bananas. And you can see it's a lot more optimized for the keyword, right? And what I mean by that is in terms of usability. So number one, the keyword is in the title. That's great. But if you actually look at the introduction, that is far better than what ChatGPT normally gets back to you. This is kind of like a magazine writer or professional writer. So for example, as a fellow cat lover, I totally get it. You're curious, Kitty watches you eating a banana and looks at you expected. Additionally, it's going to give you the short answer, which is exactly what you want because most people, they don't want to read through a whole article like this if they're just trying to answer a short question. And so if, when you have this right here, get straight to the point. There's no messing around. You've got a nice little introduction to hook people in. That's actually quite well written. And additionally, it's got some open loops, as you can see right here, to make sure that people keep reading. For example, I'll share what I've learned from vets and experienced cat owners. And what you also see is that it's even got a nice breakdown of bullet points, headings, and then a CTA at the end. That is far better than your average chat GPT content. So I think Claude is really powerful for humanizing your content and making it sound like it's not AI. And bear in mind, if most of the internet is going to be written by AI, then this is a way of differentiating your content and making it more interesting than everyone else's. Now, additionally, if you can give unique data and unique angles to ChatGPT, then it's far more likely to give you something unique back, right? It's, it's, it's only as good as the data you give it. So if we actually take a blog post that is not getting a lot of traffic and took a big hit, for example, like this article right here. So we'll grab this content, then we'll paste it into ChatGPT. And I'm going to say, rewrite my blog post using the helpful content guidelines attached. So I've taken the helpful content guidelines from Google on exactly how to write helpful content. Then I've taken the blog content for my website that's not ranking very well. And then I've pasted that into Claude AI, as you can see. Now, when you actually do this, it will refuse to rewrite your blog post completely but it will give you some actionable ways to improve your content based on the helpful content guidelines. So it's very, very actionable. It even tells you like what headings to change, how to improve the expertise and insights in the content, which parts to expand, and even to provide some background with your experience, etc. And all the sort of actionable ways that you could use to improve your content based on Google's helpful content guidelines. And then you can just go off, implement each of these strategies, and this would work for anything like EAT guidelines, helpful content guidelines, etc. You basically just train Claude on exactly how you want to write content. Now, sometimes when you're using perplexity, it's actually got a bit of a token limit. So if you're trying to give it a lot of data, it won't be able to handle it. For example, if I take a video transcript like this one, as you can see, which is just for the video I'm recording right now, and I plug that into perplexity, it's going to ask me to upgrade, right? So I can't use a free version of the tool to do a job like this. Whereas if I plug it into Claude, I can then say to Claude, okay, take this transcript right here and turn this transcript into a neatly organized blog post, right? And then I've inserted my human written article prompt, as you can see, and it's generated a nicely organized blog version of the transcript. Now, transcripts can rank really well with SEO. So for example, if you take the keyword chat GPT for link building, what she did was take a transcript of my video and then use AI to turn it into a neatly organized blog post like this. And you can easily do the same using Claude, as you can see. Now, if you really want to see a crazy example of how well transcripts can rank, just like the workflow I'm showing you. So Atify is an app that actually automatically transcribes transcripts and then publishes them to the website, right? Now, the Crazy thing is this content ranks. So you can see for this keyword, this content ranks. And if you actually take the domain atify.app, which is just transcribing YouTube videos, right? It's not creating any unique content. 
and we check out the traffic of this website, you can see it's getting 1.4 million traffic just by transcribing YouTube transcripts. How insane is that? And if you look at the keywords it's ranking for, you can see a bunch of them are getting insane traffic. And all this is, is literally a transcript of this video right here. So video transcripts using this workflow that I've talked about can be a really powerful way to get a lot of traffic for free at scale. So thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually going to do is take all of the prompts that we've discussed today, including my perplexity prompts and my Claude AI prompts, including the humanizing content prompt. And I'll put it inside the free chat GPT SEO course link in the comments and description. It'll be inside the SEO system section. It's going to be called Claude and perplexity. And you can get free access to that in the description. Now, if you do want to book in a free SEO strategy session about how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book in your free SEO strategy session. And we'll talk to you about personally building you a link building campaign that predictably and consistently delivers you more backlinks, traffic and sales to your website. And basically, you'll get an SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. Or answer any questions that you have and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website feel free to book that seo strategy session in thanks for watching appreciate it bye bye